friends, guess what I got on Force Friday, and I'm super late in reviewing. It's Jen Urso from Rogue One. Jan Urso. Jen? Jan? Jin? Jennifer. Here's Jin out of the packaging. I think that's how you say her name, Jin. I'm going to say it like that from now on. The first thing I noticed is in the trailer, she hardly wears this hood on her head. I get There's a scene of her wearing it, like, sort of loose around her shoulders. So she's, like, taking it off and she's in the rest of this costume, except the hood's not on. So I get the feeling she's not going to be wearing this hood most of the movie. And this hood's a separate piece, so let's try and take it off here and kind of stretches over her head. It's all rubbery. It's kind of tough. And, oh, there we go. It's free. Now we get a look at the sculpt. Let's take a look at that head sculpt if we focus right on it. My main problem with this head sculpt is, I mean, it's very nice, but she looks like a baby, kind of. She doesn't really look like how she looks in the trailer where she's... Clearly in her 20s, this looks like like a little 13-year-old girl face or something. But, I mean, it, it's still a good sculpt. What can you do? I like the sculpt on the hair. Although, it's clearly not as much hair as she has in the movie. Although, it's done up in a bun there, so whatever. It's it's It looks nice. It's certainly better than some of the other hair on female figures we've gotten in the Black series in the past. And then the jacket. It's actually not a jacket. Well, this is, this is not a jacket. It's like a vest on top of a jacket. I thought this was all one big jacket, but from looking at the trailers and the photos and stuff, but nope, it's like a brown vest on top of a green jacket, and then she has a shirt in here. They got the little folded part, just like in the trailer. It looks pretty accurate. The belt, it's got the four studs, got one stud. Looks pretty accurate. It's kind of a Han Solo swashbuckler kind of gunslinger belt. Sculpt looks pretty good overall. Ooh, that looks like Leia's vest in the back from, like, her Hoth outfit. Very reminiscent of that. So the paint is not quite perfect on the hair. You'll notice some parts where there's like brown that seeps onto the forehead, but the eyes look great. I love the tampo for the eyes and the little eyelashes that go off to the side and make her look girly, I guess. I don't know, that's kind of sexist. But the worst part is on the underside of the hair, the little parts of the hair that hang down, you can see where the flesh tone paint is like seeping over onto the hair. I'll try and show you here. It's like, you pull that out and uh, you can just see it like, See, that's supposed to be hair. Why is it, like, flesh-colored on the other side? I don't understand it. The hair should just be cast in brown and then, like, glued onto a head that has a spot for the hair to go on. On the vest, everything looks painted fine. Like, they even got that little red detail right there. So the paint's fine there. Legs are just cast in black. There's no wash. But then these little straps, I don't know if they're supposed to be like this, but they have gray. And then on the back, it just kind of ends. It also ends kind of on the front right here where it's visible. So I don't know if they're supposed to be like that. Painted the buckles on the shoes, too. And it looks like they finished painting those. So, I don't know. Maybe this is just part of the design why it's painted like that. Now let's talk about Jin's articulation. So, her articulation is very good, just like all the other Black Series figures. She's got a ball joint head that's on a hinge. She has hinge and swivel elbows. Hasbro style <laughs> hinge and swivel shoulders, I mean to say, up there. I'm so dumb sometimes. Hasbro style elbows. These are the actual elbows that hinge and swivel. She has hinge and swivel wrists on both wrists, but on this wrist, the hinge goes in the direction that, that your fingers bend in in real life, and on this wrist, it goes in the opposite direction that your fingers bend in. It goes like like up, down, up, down, like that. It's got a diaphragm joint, no waist joint, ball joint hips, cut thighs that are kind of tight on this one. Oh, there they go. They're getting better. Double knees. Blah. She's got a cut right at the boot top there, and a hinge and pivot ankle, just like Hasbro does on all their Marvel figures, which is awesome. Very good articulation. Can't complain. It's as good as it can be. Here was Jin and her packaging. You saw it before. It's pretty nice. She's number 22 in the red series of the black series. The, the figures in the black series that come in the red packaging. It's kind of weird. Color Sergeant. With the trailer makes it look like she just sort of joins the Rebel Alliance during the movie. So she makes Sergeant real fast, I guess. There are no twist ties in the black series trays, so everything just pops out. But Jen's giant scarf cape kind of thing makes it kind of hard for her. It's like... But you can get her out. For accessories, obviously we saw this hood cloak thing earlier. It's got a giant scarf on it. I don't know if you want to count that as an accessory. Honestly, you just kind of take it off and put it aside the first chance you get because you just want to display her without it. The only real accessory is this gun. It's kind of cool. I'm try and focus on it. It's got some nice detail. I like they painted it black. I don't know what this gun's modeled after in real life, but it looks pretty cool. It's like got a long barrel. It looks like it's a silencer. Maybe she's maybe it's gonna be like a silent blaster. Doesn't really make sense, but whatever. It looks nice. You can see her right hand has a perfect trigger finger for it, and the hinge helps with some dynamic poses. Great thing about the Black Series is you can always 
have the weapons on the figures themselves and you can holster this gun on Jin's hip holster thing here and you just move this clip out of the way and you put it back with a peg and a little hole. It's kind of hard to line up. I'm going to just, just... Ah, once you get it, it looks great. Scale time! Jin stands at five and a half inches tall. Maybe she'd be a little taller with that hood thing on, but I threw that thing in the trash. Here you can see that the Black Series is a little too small to fit in with other six-inch scale lines, like superhero lines, even Hasbro's own Marvel Legends, even though Marvel Legends is supposed to be six-inch, they're really not. Here's Jin next to the Black Series figures of Rey and BB-8, and I gotta say, while I don't think the face sculpt on Jin looks quite like the actress, Jin's face sculpt is only like a thousand times better than Rey's face sculpt. Oh my god, look at that thing. So Jin is a pretty good figure. It's hard to say how much I like her character, because the movie hasn't come out yet, obviously. But the figure is okay. I mean, there's no big surprises. I wish she had some more accessories. It's not the most amazing Black Series figure ever, but it gets the job done. She's certainly better than Rey.